I love you too. Don't worry, officer. They just love each other. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Penny and Leonard moments on The Big Bang Theory. Okay, okay that's enough. <laughs> Call me. Right. Well, okay, good night. For this list, we'll be looking at the most heart melting, entertaining, or hilarious times Lenny proved they were hashtag couple goals. We're including moments from their relationship, but we're also expanding our scope to any interaction, so times they weren't romantically involved count. Plot points will be discussed, so beware of spoilers ahead. Do you think Lenny is the proton to each other's electrons? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Seducing Leonard In season 12, Penny's ex-boyfriend Zach and his wife Marissa ask Leonard to be their sperm donor. Leonard's on board, but Penny isn't. And we don't find it weird at all. <laughs> it's a little weird for us, too. I mean, instead of our baby looking like Zach, it's gonna look like Leonard. <laughs> or Penny, if it's a girl. In fact, she's so not on board that she'll do anything to sabotage the arrangement. And let's just say, get Leonard to spend his donation. As the couple gets ready for bed, she reveals some unconventional sleepwear and tries to seduce him with a comic book. Honey, I, I know what you're doing. Just please stop. Ooh, listen to this. Bam. Pow. Take that, Batman. It's hilariously sneaky, but ultimately forces both to reflect on their disagreement. Seeing Leonard stand up for Penny later on is incredibly sweet. I want you to back off. You know, if... Penny and I don't have kids, that's between us. So you need to stay out of it. Their reconciliation is just as touching. Number 19. Penny gets Leonard to graduation. High school was a tough time for much of the gang, so Leonard's super excited when he's invited back to his old stomping ground to give a graduation commencement address as a now successful physicist. I thought it'd be fun to show her my old stomping grounds. I even know the exact spot where they used to stomp me. <laughs> Now you get to go back as a successful scientist. With a beautiful girl on your arm. Unfortunately, bad weather grounds the trip, leaving him highly disappointed, but not for long. Penny pulls out all the stops to make sure Leonard gets his big moment. She convinces the school to let him deliver his speech remotely and even finds him a graduation outfit. Cap and gown? Why do I need a cap and gown? Because you are giving your commencement speech. What are you talking about? I called your old high school and convinced them to let you give your speech over Skype. Okay, it came from a costume shop, but it works. Ultimately, everything comes together. Leonard delivers a memorable speech while Penny sits beside him, mostly beaming with pride. What you're really doing is becoming interesting. And when people finally do notice you, they're gonna find someone a lot cooler than they thought. These two always show up for each other and it makes our hearts melt. Number 18. The beta test. In the 100th episode, Leonard daydreams about getting back together with Penny. Penny, do you have plans for dinner? Why, are you guys going somewhere? No, I mean just you and me. Ooh. Uh, have you thought this through? Yes, and I think we should go anyway. When fantasy becomes a reality, he comes up with a plan to avoid future relationship roadblocks. However, he and Penny quickly learn that software development protocols don't really work on human beings. It's color-coded. Oh. <laughs> uh, red means fix right away. <laughs> Yellow is, yeah, whatever you get a chance. <laughs> and green is, I could probably learn to live with it. And neither is left feeling too hot about themselves. Yeah, handing someone a list of their flaws or bugs will do that but it was probably a better way to get on the same page than secretly reading Penny's journal. Interesting. I never told you that. Sure you did. No, I never told anyone that. But I did write it in my journal. While the test marks a roadblock in their journey, everything eventually works out, because flaws or not, they love each other. Number 17. Money Talks As the series progresses and Penny makes new life choices, the financial power balance in the relationship shifts. Eventually, she out-earns her husband, a fact he's astounded to learn. I'm excited that you found this new job where you're making decent money. Decent? I make twice what you make. Wait, twice? <laughs> yeah. Like, times two twice? A podcast might not be ideal for discussing personal finances, but it's hilarious. 
They also try asking their friends, who are in a similar situation, for advice at another point. I mean, it could be a little awkward since I make so much more money than Howie. <laughs> you didn't have to say so much more. <laughs> well, I didn't have to, but for the sake of accuracy, I felt that I should. Yet, the only thing they learn is that they're not the only couple who fights over money. Later on in the series, Penny's hurt to discover that Leonard still thinks of her as financially irresponsible. You realize I make more money than you. Yeah, I, don't, I know, but this isn't a big deal. It's just a little savings I put aside. We're married. We're supposed to share everything. You mean like your massive credit card debt? It's a low moment for the couple. However, it proves they can work through anything and come out stronger. Number 16. The Relationship Agreement Many seasons and misadventures later, the spark fizzles for this now-married couple, and weirdly, they turn to Sheldon to reignite the flame. Would you please help us make a relationship agreement? <laughs> Sheldon's contracts have always been a running gag throughout the series, but suddenly, it doesn't seem too funny when Leonard and Penny realise that having one might save their relationship. Sheldon is thrilled and soon presents them with a relationship agreement that includes Penny not saying everything is fine when it's not, and Leonard limiting his video gaming in underpants hours to when Penny isn't home. This includes boxers, briefs, thongs, g-strings, or anything else that calls attention to his pasty little thighs. <laughs> Who says romance can't be structured? Number 15. Penny Knows Breast Remember when Leonard gets so excited about Penny going back to school? Why wait so long to tell me? I, just, I don't want you to make a big deal out of it. Why do you think I'd be like that? I get it, you're taking one class, it's nice. Maybe if it goes well, you take another, you enroll full time. Yeah, that fades when one of his mum's books shows up on the recommended reading list for her psych class. It's not really how anyone would want their other half to find out about their darkest and most embarrassing moments. It doesn't help that Penny keeps probing, either. The makeup was green. I was pretending to be the Hulk. You were wearing her bra. That was to keep my muscles from sagging. Can we please stop talking about this? However, he soon spots a trend emerge whenever he gets sad about rehashing the past and uses it to his advantage. His mistake is telling Howard. I'm copying Leonard. When he does this to Penny, they have sex and watch Monty Python. <laughs> In perhaps the highlight of the episode, Penny gets the ultimate payback. It's as hilarious as it is savage. I understand you have been whining about my parenting in order to emotionally manipulate your girlfriend. I, uh... Bernadette told me everything. Now you don't get the left or the right. But hey, he deserved it. And this dynamic is part of what makes the pair so fun. Number 14. Drinking away their blues. When Leonard's mum comes to visit, it's not long until her cold, analytical psychoanalysis gets into everyone's heads especially Penny's. I talked to her for five minutes yesterday and I've been half-bombed ever since. You can't let her get into your head. <laughs> My head? What about yours? Well, it's too late for me. My head is her summer house. Leonard joins her in drinking their misery away, and it doesn't take long for them to get hammered. With their inhibitions lost somewhere at the bottom of a bottle, their interactions become more flirty. Okay, shot line. Right. <laughs> Ah. Where's the lime? <laughs> Eventually, they're straight up making out. Leonard spends a lot of time dreaming about getting intimate with the girl next door, and it seems like his dreams are about to come true. But trust him to put his foot in it. Well, she did tell him to stop talking. Get out! <laughs> she said shush, I should have shushed. Number 13 hanging out as just friends. As heartbroken as we were when Penny broke up with Leonard, we were delighted to hear them reaffirm their friendship in the following episode. Be friends, you and me. Oh, sure, absolutely. Good, I'm glad. A couple of seasons later, we got to really see their new dynamic in action, and it was priceless. Penny learns that Leonard made a lot of allowances during their relationship, but now that they're no longer dating, there's nothing stopping him from doing precisely what he wants. All right, I'd like an order of fries. Great, that'll be five dollars. <laughs> I am having the best time. I'm so glad you suggested we do this. Meanwhile, he ends up being the third wheel when she hits it off with a stranger before he meets Laura. Ultimately, a big fight brings the night out to an abrupt end. Take me home. <laughs> Maybe I'm not done hanging out with... You're right, it's getting late. Hey, it's a little chaotic, 
we can't deny we enjoyed this era of their relationship. Up until the last part, I was kind of enjoying Take Charge Leonard with a little backbone. Picking the movie, knowing what he wants, a little cocky. Really? Yeah. Number 12, prom. When Bernadette and Amy find Penny's prom dress, they're inspired to have a prom do over, minus the drama. Penny and Leonard are the first to arrive and manage to make the night extra special without their friends or music in a moment that is arguably one of the show's most moving. Look at me, dancing with the prettiest girl at the prom. They acknowledge that they never would have gone to prom together back in high school, but hey, what they have now has clearly been worth the wait. Their relationship is a testament to how much they've both matured. They get to do all the best bits of prom without the drama, while showing us how perfect they are together. Number 11. Penny visits Leonard's lab. Penny stops by Leonard's lab after Bernadette suggests she become more involved in learning about his work. It's a courtesy visit at first, but she soon becomes engrossed. And we're not sure if someone was pointing a laser at her because things rapidly heat up. You should visit more often. <laughs> what are you doing? Take off your clothes. Who knew Penny had a thing for smart guys? During another visit, she's majorly impressed by some powerful magnets that can override gravity. But what I really am is a very smart scientist who understands the mechanics of the universe and is wearing the sexy black underwear you bought him. There we go. The pair also sees positive results outside his work environment when Leonard gives her a rundown on the theory of relativity more than once. With a little extra effort on both sides, their physical and mental bonds are as strong as those gravity-defying magnets. Nothing to see here, just sexy police business. <laughs> just explaining the theory of relativity. Number 10. Penny and Leonard are expecting. Earlier in season 12, Penny revealed she didn't want any kids. Wait, what if we didn't have kids? Ever? I mean, our life is so great. Why would we want to change that? And she seemed pretty sure. So none of us expected her to announce her pregnancy in the series finale. Someone's going to figure it out. Why don't we just tell people? No, it's too early. I haven't even wrapped my head around it. I have. My head is wrapped. Yeah, well, if something else had been wrapped, we wouldn't be in this situation. While it's clear she's entering this new phase with some trepidation, she seems to be greeting the unexpected left turn in their lives positively. The team behind the show explained that since Lenny was the original central couple of the series, this was their way of honouring that relationship. It was also a beautiful way to bring things full circle. After all, remember what Leonard told Sheldon in the pilot episode? Our babies will be smart and beautiful. <laughs> Number 9. The first time they meet. As far as meet cutes go, this one is, well, awkward. Leonard and Sheldon have just come home to discover their new neighbour. Oh, hi! Hi. 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 The introduction is definitely cringeworthy as Leonard struggles to make conversation. Thankfully, Penny eventually manages to pass meaning from his verbal diarrhea and understands that he's inviting her over for lunch. Leonard is an experimental physicist at Caltech and Penny is a Sagittarius vegetarian who loves steak. While Sheldon is wholly underwhelmed by her charms, Leonard hangs on to her every word. The whole encounter is hilarious and reminds us just how far these two have come since first meeting. Number 8. A Romantic Kiss Sheldon plays Cupid once again when Penny and Leonard get cold feet ahead of their first date. They're both nervous because the other isn't the kind of person either one of them would normally go out with. Your potential relationship with Leonard right now can be thought of as both good and bad. Sheldon proves to be surprisingly helpful on this matter by telling them both to compare their relationship's potential to Schrodinger's cat. Thanks to Sheldon, Schrodinger and his cat, Penny decides to test out this theory before she heads out with Leonard. She kisses him and wouldn't you know it, she discovers that the cat is very much alive. All right, the cat's alive. Let's go to dinner. This is romance, the way that only the Big Bang Theory can tell it. Number 7. Valentine's Day Fancy dinner turns into burgers in the car when Leonard and Penny ditch their Valentine's Day plans after the maitre d' makes Penny feel old. They spend the rest of the night trying to prove that they're still young and fun, but dismiss plans to go dancing or skinny dipping. In a final attempt to prove their best days are not yet behind them, they burst into the apartment dressed as cupids and throw confetti. We are young and fun! While this may prove that their respective inner children are indeed alive, we don't envy the cleanup. Number 6. Leonard buys Penny a car. 
These two may not always see eye to eye, but they definitely care about each other, even if they don't always know how to show it. When Penny panics after her car breaks down, Leonard unintentionally rubs salt in the wound by patronizing her in front of all their friends. It doesn't take him long to realize what a jerk he's been, and he makes it up to her by buying her a car. This isn't your car. I know. I thought we'd take yours. The gesture is so sweet and shows that he's actually just been looking out for her the whole time. In season 12, when Leonard's upset that he might never experience fatherhood, Penny rents out the Batmobile in an equally adorable gesture. I rented you the Batmobile for the day. This is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Be careful, I, I did not get the insurance. Number five, Penny says, I love you to Leonard. Leonard becomes jealous after learning that Penny has a young, attractive British study partner and embarrasses her when she catches him trying to scare off her new friend. Listen to me, you are the one I'm with. You know I love you, so will you please relax because you're driving me crazy. When Penny confronts Leonard, she ends up accidentally blurting out that she loves him. They're both lost for words after she drops the album and quickly decide to part ways before they start crying. It might not seem like the most romantic moment, but it wholly encompasses what makes Penny and Leonard the couple we love to watch. You're right, you should go. All right. <laughs> Things have never been simple for them, but the love has always been real. Number four, the proposal. This one was a long time coming, and the showrunners really kept us on the hook with a higher than usual proposal count between these two characters. Who says something like that right in the middle of sex? I don't know, it just came out. Leonard's first proposal was badly timed and Penny's was a drunken mistake. But hey, all those misfires just served to make the real deal all the more exciting. I finally realized I don't need to be famous or have some big career to be happy. Then what do you need? You, you stupid Pop-Tart! Of course, even then, it's not your average proposal with Penny yelling at Leonard that he's her Pop-Tart rather than Bran Muffin. Although it's not the most romantic display, he brings it back when he reveals the ring he's been carrying around for years. Could have been so much more romantic if you didn't have monkey hair on your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Penny can't be romantic. When Howard pulls off the ultimate romantic gesture, Leonard points out to Penny that she has never done anything romantic for him. Get ready, because there is a crap storm of romance coming your way. Despite calling Rajin for help on the subject of romance, Penny's crap storm of romance falls flat. You have to feel bad for her, but as soon as she reveals her box of keepsakes from their relationship, all is forgiven, and the hearts of viewers everywhere absolutely melt. The thank you letter you wrote me after the first time I slept with you? <laughs> Leonard realizes that he never needed some grand gesture and is deeply touched by the sentiment. They might not always know how to show it, but these two really love each other. Number two, Leonard and Penny get married in Vegas. This event was a long time coming, but thankfully the couple made up for the wait by giving us two weddings. The first time is a spontaneous Vegas one, which they assume their friends are watching via live stream. You've got a friend in me. <laughs> is that the song from Toy Story? He loves that movie. I do. It might not be conventional, but it perfectly reflects who they are as a couple, right down to the vows. With Leonard being prepared for his and Penny improvising, but nailing it. The whole thing highlights all that we love about them, and we wouldn't have it any other way. That being said, their second wedding is also a nice bit of sentimental icing on the cake. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Planning Leonard's party. She goes above and beyond to give him a memorable birthday. Too bad he misses it. Sorry you didn't get your party. Oh, it's okay. Well, happy birthday anyways. The Dirty Storm. Lenny gets creative to spice things up. However we want to hang it. Well, are you kidding? We're not hanging it. But it's an expression of our love. And our butts, not hanging it. Funny Christmas gift exchange. As they say, it's the thought that counts. Oh, that I think you'll appreciate what I got you. Okay. A hundred and one totally cool science experiments for kids. Dancing in underwear. How else do you celebrate a Sheldonless living arrangement? Wow, where did you learn these moves? Uh, the world may have forgotten about Dance Dance Revolution, but not this smooth criminal. <laughs> Leonard supports Penny's commercial. His pride is evident when everyone gathers to celebrate her big moment. I'm proud of you. Shh, here comes my joke. How are you doing? Sitting pretty. <laughs> 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Snowflake While it's clear Leonard is in love with Penny from the get-go, it takes her a little longer to reciprocate. In fact, it isn't until Leonard and the guys prepare for their North Pole expedition that she first starts dropping serious hints about her feelings. Bye. Okay, bye. means I wish you weren't going. But you know what they say, distance makes the heart grow fonder. And indeed, Penny's heart balloons during Leonard's absence. Ours are also ready to burst when he gives her this unique and ever so romantic gift upon his return. Unlike a preserved snowflake, this gesture makes us melt. It's a snowflake from the North Pole. Are you serious? <laughs> It'll last forever. I preserved it in a 1% solution of polyvinyl acetyl resin. And we know that Leonard and Penny, much like the thoughtful gift, will last forever. But that's the most romantic thing anyone's ever said to me that I didn't understand. <laughs> it's actually a pretty simple process. You see, cyanoacrylates are monomers which polymerize on... Mm. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.